Hi guys, it's Alexa. Welcome to my channel. A little over a year ago, I made a video showing you how to make a tornado in a bottle. Feel free to go check that video out. Well, in this video, I will be showing you how to make a lava lamp bottle. Now, it's not actually a lamp, it doesn't light up, but the separation between the oil and the colored water in the bottle gives off the lava lamp effect. Like the tornado in a bottle, the lava lamp bottle is a great sensory tool for autism because you flip it upside down and it gives off a calming effect. And best of all, you most likely have all the stuff needed to make this lava lamp bottle right at home. Now let me show you how to make it. To make the lava lamp bottle, you will need an empty bottle, of course. I would recommend using a sturdy plastic bottle that's made of really strong plastic, oil, water, and food coloring. So yeah, very few ingredients. You probably already have all of them at home. Now let's make it. So first, you need to decide what ratio of water you want to oil in your lava lamp bottle. In case you didn't know, water and oil actually do not mix. And that's exactly what's going to create the lava lamp effect. So basically, you need to decide how much of each color you want in your lava lamp bottle. You can do whatever ratio of water to oil that you want. But I like to do around one-fourth water and three-fourths oil in my lava lamp bottle. So what one fourth water, about that much water. I recommend putting the water in the bottle before the oil, just to make things easier. Now it's time to add food coloring. I'm going to do red. Now that the water is colored, you then Fill the bottle the rest of the way up with oil. I really recommend using a measuring cup like this or, or a funnel to pour the oil because oil is very messy. Now that the bottle is filled all the way up, all you have to do now is close the bottle. And your lava lamp bottle is finished. You can now play with it and enjoy the awesome lava lamp effect. See? It's just like a lava lamp. How cool is that? This is really fun to play with, guys. You've got to make this. Anyways, if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you get notified every time I upload. And you can also follow me on Twitter at Alexa underscore Gerard 98 and on Instagram at Alexa underscore Gerard. If you have any questions or requests for future videos, feel free to leave a comment down below. Also, if you have any other ideas for DIY sensory toys you'd like me to show you how to make on my channel or sensory tools you'd like me to review for autism, please leave a comment. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.